Hello, good uh, morning. Uh, today I want to talk about the witness. With the, I want to do the witness without identity. Uh, this is the witness without identity. Where we're going to talk about the issues of the Meghan Markle issue. We have to get to the bottom of this issue. I don't understand it. I'm a little bit obsessed about it. I want to understand it. Piers Morgan against Meghan Markle. The hatred that he has against Meghan Markle. Is it a valid hatred or is it racist? You know, that's a big question. Let's investigate Piers Morgan. Let's investigate the um, Meghan Markle issue, let's get to the bottom of it and let's try to understand it because I don't get it. Like, I don't understand what's going on here. Is there something to it? It's a pretty, it's a pretty fascinating uh, conversation because there are people on both sides of the equation. Some people are saying that Meghan Markle, she's the one that pissed off the British press. So uh, other people on the other side are saying, no, no, no. It is uh, the British press that is racist against Meghan Markle. So me, I'm trying to not use my identity as you can see, this channel is called the Witness Without Identity. So I'm trying not to use my identity to, to make a judgment on this case. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to do my study. So in this video, we're going to analyze carefully and slowly what Piers Morgan is talking about. We're going to try to understand what he's talking about. We're going to see if there's validity in it. And we're going to try to see how he talks about me again. Is it fair? You know? So let's go ahead and do this. This is uh, Piers Morgan. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex is being key culprits with all of this. We've got to go back to January the 9th, the day Harry and Meghan announced they're stepping down. Your advice for the Queen at the time was get rid of these whining, eco-crazed leeches before it's too late. Ten months on. You're standing by those words. Any regrets with that? I think that everything I want has sadly come to fruition. Yeah, I'm afraid that they want their royal cake and eat it, Meghan and Harry. They're the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when it comes to negotiating $100 million deals with Netflix. But what they don't want to do as part of having the royal titles given to them by the Queen is go back to England and put a shift in, what we call a dutiful shift. They don't want that stuff. They want to be in their $11 million mansion in San... Okay, so, so you see, when you hear things like this, it can it, it can look pretty bad on Meghan Markle, you know what I'm saying? So Piers Morgan is pre, is pretty good at 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 telling people those things. He's very good at this. So he's telling you that hey, they're very good at this. Like you know they they have the royal title, uh, uh, um, and they don't want to they they want to they want to benefit from the title and they want to go to California and benefit from it without doing the service in England, right? Um, so. That's what he's telling you. So, so you see, that can catch some fire because that can make people angry because it, it does look like that to the outside world. So we have to dig in. I don't know what where I am right now. I'm still not sure. I'm going to do more videos. I'm going to do more research. But these YouTube videos, we have to talk about it in a very careful way. This is a, a, this is a very strange video. It's a, I mean, it's a very interesting video that Piers Morgan is saying because it can look like that to the outside world that people are looking at it that hey, um, like uh, they they took the they took the title they had the title and now they're signing up deal with Netflix. It it sounds uh, it sounds weird. It sounds weird. It sounds weird. To Barbara lecturing the world about equality, which in itself is laughable, uh, but they're also more damaging. They want to preach about politics. And they're now taking a stand against Trump and so on. You can't do that and be royal members. You just can't do it. It's damaging to the impartiality of the monarchy. My simple solution is this. As I said to the Queen, uh, to my Her Majesty, if it should be quite so bold as to try and lob in some sort of uh, familiarity <laughs> there, but I did suggest to Her Majesty that she should cut them loose, cut the titles. And I think that has to be done now because if they want independence and freedom as they claim they do, fine, not a problem. You can't be Duke and Duchess of Sussex. So take the titles away, see how you get on as Meghan and Harry. What percentage of the English population agrees with you, do you think, Piers, if you had to quantify? I think around January, February, it was split. I mean, probably 50-50. Now I would say 99% agree with me. Because I think people feel incredibly sad about what's happened to Prince Harry in particular. There was this very handsome, courageous, military prince who was a war hero, very popular, played naked billiards in Las Vegas. We loved him for all the cheeky shenanigans. And now he's become this, you know, king of woke. And it's so depressing. Every day they do these videos from their, their mansion in California lecturing us about climate change when they're not getting on Elton John's private plane. And Okay, so I personally feel that Piers Morgan 
he he can give people the perception that he's racist you know he can give people the perception that he's racist a little bit a little bit of perception it's a perception you know because he's he's giving that perception because he's saying that like you know so he's trying to embellish Prince Harry. Prince Harry was a British man like me. He was a strong man. He's been to war. He, he fight for the. He, he, he's a courageous man. So so basically, that's what that's what he's saying about uh, about um, uh, uh, the, 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 that's what he say, That's his view of Prince Harry. So here, what we are saying here is that like 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 people will look at things as racist. It's like. If you're if you're targeting Meghan Markle and you you kind of embellish Prince Harry, you kind of saying that Meghan Markle co-opted Prince Harry, and I think that's what Piers Morgan is saying in a way. Meghan Markle co-opted Prince Harry, you know, because before Prince Harry was good, so that can be seen as racist, but that doesn't mean it's racist. It just means that something has changed. And like, guess what, guys? I think something did change. Prince Harry is no, is no longer in, in, in England. So we have to keep it real. But we have to ask ourselves another question. Why did it change? Was it the media that pushed them away? It could be the media, right? It's probably the media. Uh, uh, it's probably the media. So let's look at it again. Mm -hmm. So on and so on. And I look at Harry. He looks like one of those poor people in a hostage video. You sort of want to send in the SAS to rescue him. <laughs> How do you think that's going to end? Look at what he said there. This is very bad. So look at how he, I look at him in the hostage where he, he needs the SAS to rescue him. Rescue him from who? Rescue him from Meghan Markle. So you can see what, he, what Piers Morgan is doing here. He's kind of saying that Meghan Markle is the culprit of the problem. I don't think she is. I think Meghan Markle happened to marry somebody that agrees with her that the monarchy suck. I think that's what's going on. Prince Harry said before she met Meghan, I think he did say that even before he met Meghan, that uh, the the monarchy and the royalty it's not a it's not a great life, and he wants to change it. I mean, let's let's keep it real, guys. Why would somebody leave their family that they love for a woman? Prince Harry has to love his mother more than a woman. Everybody does. Come on. Not well. Uh, Megan, I'm afraid, has a track record, as I can personally attest, of cutting loose anybody who ceases to be of use to her. So I guess as long as Harry's of use to her, fine. But she got rid of her ex-husband, remember? He, he thought they were happily married mm. until she sent him back the wedding rings in the post. Um, this is not somebody for the longer-lasting snack, as we say in Great Britain. I mean, at her wedding to Harry, there was only one member of her entire family. She's cut the poor old dad loose. He's been disowned. It's like nobody lasts very long. You, you single ah you see you see what Piers Morgan is saying so they, they are up uh, wedding to Harry but but Megan Marco she she just cut people's loose and she's a divorcee you know he he's trying to like paint Megan Marco as a, as a bad person as a bad apple that's corrupting the thing uh, and I I don't like what Piers is doing it's very dangerous and even though it might not be racist it 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 does feels like it. You can feel it, you know. Like and but I don't. I still don't think he's racist though. And I know some people in the black community will say that. I still don't think he's racist. I think Peels is some sort of a royalist, somebody that believes in the royalty. But we're gonna do more video. We're gonna do an investigation on this, right? We're gonna investigate all the different spectrum of this topic. Guys, please stay with me. Subscribe to my channel. We need to investigate this thing. Let's investigate.